Hello everyone, and welcome to the first video of the second section of Real World Projects with Java 11, Section 2, Creating a Simple Text Adventure Game Engine. In this video, we will be exploring object-oriented programming. So what is object-oriented programming? Well, pretty much in every other project you will encounter, the code will be written in an object-oriented fashion. It also makes the code more organized and efficient. Let's go through the basics of object-oriented programming. First, we have the class. As you can see, I've already created a sample project for this section. So now let's create that first class. Let's call it the main class. Right click on SRC, new class, just like we've already done. This is said class. Now, after we've gone over the class, which you hopefully already have known, now we have the package. So let's take a look at that. Almost every class you will have will be located inside a folder under SRC, meaning that let's say we want main to be under a package name main. After we move main to the package main, you will have this package main line at the top of the file. That means that every time we need to import the main class, it would mean that we need to import it from package main, static and non-static. You might already know what static and non-static means, but basically, a static method means that you can call the method without creating an instance of the class. For example, the main function is static. An example of a non-static method will be almost every other method you write in the class. For example, function A is non-static, which means that you cannot call it from main, as you'll see now. If we try to call A from main, we'll get an error. But, on contrary, if we try and call main from A, it works perfectly fine meaning that you can call a static method from a non-static method, but you cannot call a non-static method from a static method. Are a great way to document your code. For example, we are now overriding a method of toString inside the object class. We will learn what each of those mean in a later video, but for now, all you can see is that annotations are a great way to document your code. For example, toString is a method overriding another method. As you can see, there is an override annotations above it. We will learn all about overridings in a later video. Access modifiers. Access modifiers basically mean from where you can access this method slash variable. For example, a public method can be accessed from anywhere in the code, a private method can be accessed only from inside the class. Protected method can be accessed from inside the class and inside the package and a subclass, which we'll learn about later. Package private means that it can be accessed from inside the package, from inside the class, and that is it. To create a package private method, you don't need to write package private, but you can just leave it blank just like that. 